everybody we are back with another review today we got some pickups from ebay we got a pre-order from target a pre-order from gamestop so without further ado let's hop right into this review and let's see what we got in the boxes over here we got a little appetizer too actually i just saw this over here we got about the last one and i grabbed the case which the case allows you to get these ones in the front here which is kind of neat pretty sure how did we get this out last time here you know what I'll just, there we go, slice it down the side, there we go, I'll pull that forward and slide that out, nice, so these right here in the front, sometimes they got some actually rare ones in there, they got a skimpy one in there which is a good one, and the Fruitopia, uh, these, Fruitphobia I should say, here's the skimpy and the Fruitphobia, these are probably the best ones out of the ones up here, the Chef Borgardie. This is another uncommon, probably $11 one right there. That's pretty cool though, right? But when you're buying the last case, you can't feel bad taking the case because they're just going to throw it in the trash. I mean, that's the next spot for it. So, uh, I mean, I doubt they're going to hang on to it. You know what I'm saying? So, because the new one that the new case they're going to get is going to come in another one. So they don't really need it. Here is the Wolfman, just for Wolfman, another uncommon right there. Pretty cool on that. I've actually collected quite a few of these. Let's see what card we got. Snoot Loops. Oh my goodness. Snoot Jewelry Breakfast Cereal. Interesting. If you're an Ad Icon fan, I guess that would be something that someone might be into or something. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is a Series 1 blind bag. We'll toss that in there too. Scoot those over for now. Let's see what we got in the blind bags. Now these are made by Tops, just so you know. Oh, we got a Ghoul Scouts. Nice. Thing Mints. So basically, if I was to describe these, they're kind of like a, um, a Garbage Pail Kid crossed with the Mini Brands toy. Because the Mini Brands toy does like the real representation of the brand. We got another Cyborg RD. Cyborg and Meatballs. That one is, I guess about $11. What does it say? Minute Lice. Minute Lice. Now I got the Super Ultra Mega Ultra hyper rare one which is the ebayer uh, i actually got it through a contest with super impulse they mailed it out to me i won their contest and it's i think there's only like two that they dropped here's captain crud uh, me and another winner ended up getting them and they also did the uh, minute made orange juice or minute something it was a play on minute made but there you go captain crud this is actually a cool one i'm actually probably going to keep this one to be honest with you because uh, i'm going to take a picture of this one next to my funko soda so this one I'll probably hang on to, actually, the Cap'n Crud. Uh, I already have a Skimpy in my collection and a Fruit Phobia, but yeah, those are pretty cool. The Snoot Loops is actually a pretty good sticker. That's actually what original... So these are called Wacky Packages, but the original Wacky Package was a sticker through Tops, and it was like a Garbage Pail Kid, but it was just making fun of, like, all these brands and stuff. So anyway, let's see. Uh, this one was a box that was in another box. I just took it out and I said, let's check out what's in this box. So I don't have to do redundant boxes. What are we getting this? Hey, Roboto. Very cool pickup there. Awesome. Dimensional Doom. That's what the comic is called that comes with Roboto. Very cool. Here's the wave right here. I have all the, uh, I have all the Motu um, figures from all the waves. Uh, she -Ra, most of these I actually pre ordered through Entertainment Earth, um, but most of these I uh, also grabbed through websites like eBay and um, in person. But the figures were probably the hardest things to get because they're not like uniformly distributed. So we got Roboto right there, very cool pickup there. All right, we got a Target pickup, which is like interestingly taped. We got a Terra Claws Skeletor. Uh, get this out. I don't want to damage this. Pulling it 
out. Nice. This is the Metallic Terracloss Skeletor. They're running a little sale on their site, on their Target exclusive, so I scooped up a couple of these, but they shipped in two different shipments. This was one of the two that I bought. So, box is mint, which is really what I was looking for. <clears throat> I ended up grabbing one on eBay uh, to put together a bundle that I was trying to um, finish off, and I'm actually, now that I have that, I actually finished the bundle off, which is actually kind of nice, so, uh, because the one on eBay was damaged, you know what I mean? It was, um, it arrived damaged, and I'm not really sure if the seller intended it that way, but they didn't really pack it that great, so what can you do, right? I'm sure you've seen me open that box on this video, on a video before, so. Nice, we got one of these Eternia minis. Packaging tape. There we go, just get that little start there, so we can just slide this out. And this one's the Castle Grayskull one, and I ordered a Snake Mountain one as well, which I forgot who had, who's in the Snake Mountain one, but this one had He-Man in it, and this is regular He-Man, which is awesome, because I have the Battle Armor one, which is really cool. And uh, I dig these little encapsulated, I like these little encapsulated castles like that. I think that's pretty cool, actually. So, and there's the Sword of Power, which is awesome. And again, uh, I kind of dig these. The ones that I got are the newer ones, which are like, let me bend his arm back so we can actually close this. Um, they're in a normal like package for with like a figure. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep this guy sealed for now. Um, if I decide to open him, I'll do him like as like an appetizer in a future video. But this was, I believe, the first wave of these Eternium minis. It came in like these little encapsules like this, which is actually kind of cool. They have all kinds of stuff in regards to these minis like little rides and all kinds of things. So pretty cool on that. We got gray skull on that. Eternia minis. Very cool. Oh, there it is. It shows you that it folds out. Colors and decorations may vary. Very cool on that. We'll put that over here with our minis. All right. What did we get in the box here? What is this? This one GameStop? Yes, this one is GameStop. Okay. Here is the GameStop box. Last one I think is an, is an eBay one. At least it looks like it because it's definitely a repurposed box. Like someone's opened it, put my stuff in it, and then retaped it up, type of thing. Oh, nice. We got three sorters in here. That's always good to get from GameStop. Three sorters. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. All right, see what the first one we got is in the sorter. It's kind of like a mystery box because you don't know what I'm getting, neither do I. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, she wrote Princess of Power. Very cool. We got Prince Adam's sister there. Very cool. His twin sister. Oh, there's the father right there, King Randor. Woo! Pretty dope. <clears throat> That's a good pickup. All right. Nice. We got the Mandalorian non glow in the dark with jetpack. GameStop exclusive. Very cool. Beskar armor as well. Very dope. There's the wave right there. As you know, that Cara Dune is highly sought after. I do have one, thanks to Jeep of Pop for hooking me up with that. Appreciate you, dude. Nice, we got an Ahsoka Tano new pose. This is a GameStop exclusive one. All right, why didn't this slide out right? It was very stiff. Maybe this top part, top part looks a little wide. Maybe the blister pack is uh, doing some work in there, but other than that, the box looks mint, so. We got the new pose, Ahsoka Tano right there. Very cool, very cool. Put that up there. All right, last box we got is, I believe, from eBay. So let's see. Nope, this is Target on the outside. Interesting. Maybe it's a Target box reused. Uh, there we go. All right. Oh, I know what this is. Nice. This was something I picked up with that sale with the Skeletor. It's just an oddly shaped box. I thought it was from eBay. And the way it was taped up was kind of bizarre. All right, this is a uh, Chuck Norris t-shirt bundle. And I actually haven't seen these in like three years. It's been, it's been a while since I've seen these on the shelves. So uh, when they put it back up for sale, I scooped one up. I have one of these, but I don't believe I have the size extra large because I think I sold the shirt it was like a medium or a large but it was like at the time you know it's whatever you can get on the shelf the shirt's kind of secondary because it's you know I mean if you could wear the shirt then it's like all gravy but like if not then you might as well just sell the shirt or get it to somebody who will fit so I ended up scooping up an extra large which is nice 
And this is going to be Chuck Norris Target Exclusive. I probably haven't seen this in a while. Comes in this really cool ammo can box. Here is the shirt. Chuck Norris. There it is right there. He's got the Walker Texas Ranger thing going on. And here is Chuck Norris with dueling Uzis. Very cool. Very, very cool. There he is right there. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Yeah, see 2018 down there. And this one's mint, so very nice, very nice. Thank you, Target. Appreciate you on that. What a hell of a hell of a haul here. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite from this haul? Was it the GameStop Mando, the GameStop Ahsoka Tano? Was it the Target Chuck Norris, the Target Terra Claus Skeletor Metallic, the She-Ra, the Roboto, some of these Super Impulse minis, or was it that Eternia mini in Castle Grayskull? You let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe for more. Because I reviews every single day. I'm looking for that. Have a great day.